Hey there guys, like Charlie Weir here, coming to you. Just want to discuss with you some reasons why it is important for you to move your body as well as what it is you put inside your body. And again, I'm Dr. Charlie Weir, your leading expert in chronic pain management and other conditions, all right? So guys, I just want to point a few things out. Um, especially here in this sickle cell community, um, I see way too many individuals who fear of moving their body, who fear actually, you know, having an active lifestyle because of the fact that, you know, the pain levels and, or, and or triggering also a, a sickle cell crisis as well. But I mean, I'm going to throw out a few stats for you really quick. You know, and I, I alluded to this a little while ago, but I'm going to throw it back out there. It was a study done um, at the University of Chicago and also a few universities over in Nigeria comparing just the livelihood lifestyles and how things measured up according to, you know, individuals there in Nigeria and also individuals here in the United States uh, with sickle cell disease. And to everyone's surprise, it showed that individuals in Nigeria had a lower BMI, which means um, body mass index, as well as had a lower rate of hypertension, strokes, and other complications associated with sickle cell disease with not eating proper things of that sort. Individuals here in the United States actually had a rate of about anywhere from 15 to 40 pounds higher as far as um, body uh, BMI. And uh, I mean, just the rate of hypertension and all the other things were just like two or three times that of individuals in Nigeria. Ironically enough, individuals there in Nigeria are not on hydroxyurea or taking some of the vaccines that people here in the United States also take. But we also go look at what you're eating. And the whole on the fact that people here are not eating, you know, efficiently and effectively to really affect their body means a lot. The other factor was the fact that people there in Nigeria tend to walk a lot more, anywhere from 5.2 uh, or plus miles more per day um, than individuals here. I'm sorry, I said 5.2, 1.2 to 1.5 miles more a day um, than individuals here in the United States. And that is huge. You know, a lot of individuals are using these things to, to, to you know, different devices to track their steps and things like that. So 10,000 steps is a lot of steps to do, but that's the average amount that shows that you should be able to keep yourself healthy if you're walking about 10,000 steps. Some individuals only get about 2,000 steps in. Once you start to track yourself, you'll be surprised how, how, how much you do or don't really move your body or don't even walk around as much as you think you do it. But you, you actually are tired and things of that sort. That's used because of the fact that you're not moving your body. So when you do move your body, you are more gas or out of breath a lot more rarely as well. You got to make sure that you're moving your body. So there's an old ancient Chinese proverb, as you see up here, um, a moving river gathers no moss. Moss, if you ever go to like, you know, an actual river, not the ocean, but if it goes to an actual river and you see uh, so some of those rivers that don't move a whole lot, they have that green stuff on it, that's moss. It means like different algaes and different mosses are actually good for your body, but it's a different story. But moss basically is just algae growing on the actual surface of the waters that because of the fact it's not moving that fast, okay? So the same thing happens to your bone. This is what, this is what we're talking about, antioxidants. Everyone had this whole thing with you know, the importance of taking antioxidants. An antioxidant is actually allowing the body not to build up must, uh, that much oxy, oxidated uh, um, uh, cells inside the body. What's oxidated cells, you may ask? Oxidated cells, I want you to think of, you know, um, a piece of metal that has rust on it. That's oxidation. That means that the cell is actually dying and that the body is able to wash it away. So it's sitting there in your body causing more inflammation, also causing havoc, and also does causing more issues inside the body. Sickle cell disease, um, AVNs, and all these other things cre are created because of the fact that the blood's not flowing efficiently, as well as not you know, evacuating all of the broken cells and also the oxidated cells out the body uh, more rarely. So that's why it's important for you also to, again, take your um, antioxidants, you know, it's huge you know, ones, you know, out there. I mean, I think everyone that mom has, you know, some sort of form of uh, antioxidant out there on the shelf. So you can use and find one yourself. I prefer to use um, different oils, you know, the omega oils, uh, uh, the omega threes, omega sixes, things of that sort, hemp oils, um, coconut oils. Those are, they have phenols inside there that actually are anti-inflammatory, antioxidant as well, as well as it keeps the body nice and lubricated, you know, to also make sure that the blood's flowing and the capillaries are, you know, well taken care of as well. So the, the other thing is, you know, the whole idea of this whole talk is, is make sure that you're not just sitting around being static. Static basically means that you're just sitting and not moving, not stretching your body, not walking, not, you know, stretching, just, just being very, very static out of fear. I want to make sure that you guys understand that everything you do, every little pain that you have is not a sickle cell crisis. It is something that you have to get over. You have to also learn how to 
really judge what's really going on in your body as well. I tell patients that, you know, a good way to start off by moving your body on a daily basis is to wake up or two or three times a day, actually, do a few yoga poses, whether it be, you know, the downward dog, whether it be the, you know, the, 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 the warrior pose, all of these things, you know, actually are designed just to basically stretch your body out. You don't need to go join a yoga class. You don't need to go and spend money on these 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 tapes and things like that. So go on YouTube and do a five minute yoga class. They they have so many different types of yoga as well. Um, yoga for back pain, yoga for you know depression. I mean, they have so many different types out there. I and mean, I, I think it'd be a great thing for um, some individual to actually create a yoga uh, um, a yoga program for sickle cell patients. That'd be a phenomenal thing for, for for someone to actually create because again, you know, different poses are very gentle, and all they're doing is basically allowing the body to elongate itself to actually allow the blood to flow more more readily. You gotta understand that we have many, many, many different muscles that the blood feeds um, through and into as well. Think about your calves. Most individuals don't understand that your calves are really designed not just for running and jumping, but also to help pull the blood back up up towards the heart. And things of that sort. So again, if you're not, you know, working your body, not walking, you're not allowing that that blood to be pulled back up, you know, in between those caps and squeezing it back up on a daily basis, back up to your heart a lot more fast as well. As well as the diaphragm. The diaphragm is the big muscle right under your rib cage. It's a huge muscle, and maybe people don't understand like what it is. Like if you have the hiccups, that means you're breathing your, your your lungs, and also your diaphragm are actually out of whack. It's not you know working properly. So by breathing more deep, you're working that muscle, working your intestines, so you you be less constipated, as well as you get more blood circulation, more um, oxygen inside your body by taking real deep breaths as well. Because again, that's a big muscle you gotta also learn how to build up too. By stretching your body, and again, one stretch that I do love, I do this like three or four times a day, it is the downward dog because when I do that, I mean elongating, and stretching all of my rib cage muscles and also my diaphragm, and I find that my intestines and everything else, it loosens up so much, and I, you know, is 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 help me go defecate, you know, three or four times. I'm sorry, one to three times a day. I, I actually do, actually do defecate, you know. So different poses like that is gonna allow your body to be relaxed. The other thing that the scientific facts have shown that if you do downward dog in different yoga poses, it can actually help strengthen your low back. A lot of that low back pain you're actually feeling too can be due to the fact that you're not stretching your body more efficiently, more effectively as well. So yoga is something you can try. Again, just go on YouTube, simple things. They have apps on your phone. You can actually do yoga poses. Don't you know, spend all this money and going to classes and, and, and having that be another excuse. You can do it right there in the comfort of your own home as well. The other thing I like to do is called Pilates. Not Pilates, I like to call it Pilates jokingly, but it's called Pilates. This is a lot of core strengthening stretches, but it's, it's, you can do it at home, but um, with different resistance things. But the reason I put it up there, once you're advanced past your yoga, you want to start strengthening your body, you can start using Pilates as a way to strengthen and log in your body, but really in the strengthening phase of really core muscles and getting the muscles nice and strong to really prevent a lot of the AVNs and other things that go along uh, as well. It's a phenomenal um, exercise. Simple thing as walking. You know, walking, again, you know, people, we tend to forget that walking is not just from getting from point A to point B. It's a way for you to really exercise your body, lose weight, but also get the blood pumping a lot faster around your body. You have to go running. Everyone wants to run and jog. I find I have more injuries from people running because of the fact that they have neck injuries, low back injuries also, of course, knee injuries as well. I say go for a walk. So nice, brisk, long walks going to give you the same heart rate increase, going to give you the same strengthening of the body as well, but it's less impactful on your body as well. Your walking is a phenomenal thing for you to do, especially if you're not just doing it at a slow place, you're doing it at a brisk pace. You find that you feel uh, hugely better. You have a lot more stamina. And again, you woke up a good sweat. It's a good way for you to move your body without the risk of going to a crisis. Of course, with all these things, we're to make sure you stay hydrated before, during, and also at them. But again, the main thing you want to do is make sure you're moving your body. And then last but not least, my favorite is always to tell patients to stretch at night before they lay down and go to sleep. Now, if you're laying there between seven and nine hours, you got to remember that you're just tossing back and forth now, getting up and moving your body. So I like to always stretch my body before I go to sleep. That way, any of my old injuries, I'm loosening those up. My back's nice and loose, and it makes your body more relaxed. Remember, I, I told you guys to, you know, to always take, you know, three, three to five deep breaths. Like if you're in a stressful situation, I say take three to five deep breaths. All you're doing is stretching out that diaphragm, getting more oxygen inside your body, and getting your body to relax and calm down. That's why I stretch a whole lot before I go to sleep. 
I actually stretch my body a whole lot. And what that tends to do for me actually is that helps my body relax and also just relax my brain as well as I've had, any, you know, I have, I have plenty of injuries, but I'm loosening those up where I, I don't have the low back pain or the hip pain or the knee pain, you know, things of that sort, is getting the oxygen and the blood to flow around my body a little bit better. So when I'm laying down there for, you know, my eight hour worth of sleep, I don't feel cramped up, I don't feel tight, I don't feel stiff, where I don't, if I toss and turn, I get an ache and pain, things here and there. And I'm seeing over a period of time that really helps a lot of patients out, especially the sickle cell realm. Because again, the more you can get that oxygen to the flow around your body more easily, the easier it is for you to be able to sleep and also help repair yourself as well. Hey guys, you know, again, these are just some of the things that I'm trying to help you guys with, especially, you know, getting over the fear of moving your body. I'm not saying go out there and join a CrossFit team. I'm not saying go out there and do MMA. I'm not saying go out there and even join a gym. These are simple things you can do inside your house. You know, you're going to take you 15 minutes. You know, Pilates, yes, you may have to go to a class, but that's later on. Walking, you know, half an hour worth of walking in the evening is great. As well as the um, the night stretching, call it, it'll take you another 15, 20 minutes. You know, guys, if something's very, very easy for you to do, and you'll see that your body is going to actually start to improve over a period of time, and you'll feel stronger and healthier for it. And again, Dr. Charlie Ware, your leading expert in natural pain management. If you have any questions, always feel free to leave me a comment. And actually, this, this, this month is actually Sickle Cell Awareness Month. We're doing an ice challenge. And I want you guys to please post these things and please just keep pushing that. There's people get more aware of what's going on with sickle cell. The fact that there's not enough research, not enough products out there for you guys, as well as the fact that here at Healing Blends Global, we do have different bundles to help you guys out. You know, buy an even flow note as well as a virus. You get a free, a free chlorophyll all throughout the entire month of September as well. So guys, keep looking out for things like that. I'll talk to you guys in a few days. Take care and God bless.